Harry Arms. Oh, I mute my video. <clears throat> Hello, everybody. Good evening, everyone. Tweeting out some shit. How's everybody? I think I need to fix my camera. Sorry if you're getting headaches. Yeah, that's like as best as I... Alright, so let me move this. I'm not very well prepared. How's everybody? Hey, Ari, I hope I pull something nice, too. Kind of hoping I pull myself a crunchy onion. Your boy wants a lotus. We're going to wait a little bit longer. Getting some more people coming in. Music too loud, too low. How's everyone? Hello, Lucky. I'm good. Just fixing some stuff. I had to make a setup on my bed, which is sad because I can't fit this friggin' thing on my table. <laughs> I have I have to get a different tripod. I gotta get like one that can affix to a shelf or something because the tripod's getting big. Alright, so got myself a box of Commander Legends. Came with I have it here somewhere. Good old Sang that's the wrong Sang gear. That's the right Sang gear. Good old Sang gear. And Nice man of confluence. Hey, Kithulu. How you doing? Yee, sexy cards. Not a lot of people were excited about Sangir. I think it's a really good card. I'm excited about it. And of course, the man of confluence just looks really freaking cool. It's like a giant Re uh, Reese's Kisses cup that just went... Not Reese's. What's it? Little Kisses. Little, the small little chocolate things. Me, am adult boomer. Me don't know chocolate. Ah, uh, this camera's not great. Keeps moving. You getting a box too? Yeah. All right, so let's open this up because I know y'all are sick of waiting for my dumbass. So I was gonna set six car, a uh, six card, six packs aside so I could do a um, a seal thing, but I kind of gotta go somewhere later, so I'm not gonna be able to do that. But that don't matter. None of that matters. Me too. I also would like a mana uh, mana drain. Mana drain would be nice too. I'm greedy. I want all the things. I want a foil mana drain like well, I want a foil mana drain like Gavin and Aaron got. And here's the uh, actually really good insert. It kind of explains to you the commander draft and the back introduces the uh, draft archetypes. So two colors. Really, really nice. And the thick packs. Look at these. Look at these thick boys. Oh, they're so thick. That's what four C's. Alright. So we got two, four, six, eight. We'll open the left, the left, the rightmost stack first. See what we can get. Let me just check something really quick. Okay. Alright. Nope. Wrong tab. There we go. Alrighty. Pack number one. I'm gonna cycle through the commons for the first couple. There are some really nice commons. First pack's a crunchy onion? Yeah, that'd be nice. Crunchy onion in the first pack. Guys, I think we got a foil. I'm pretty sure I counted a foil. Explosion of Riches. 
Siren Storm Tamer. Ordeal Annihilia. Ooh, Plague Reaver. What does he do? Think of your end step, sack two creatures, discard two cards, plague return. Oh, this is a really cool recursion guy. Really nice. Abomination of Land of War. Uh, literal Elf Ball. That's very funny. Very funny card. Hey, there's a good one. Neverall. Nevin Rawls. Nevin Yural. Urborg Tyrant. Really cool. First Foils of Fencing Ace from Gate Crash or Dragon's Maze. One of those. One of those sets. I don't remember. Not bad. Never all for the first one. Definitely an abusable, an abusable. I'm uh, not banned. What is what is this? Uh, I forgot the name for this color combination. It's not Grixis. Esper, Esper, really nice Esper legendary. All right, so how am I gonna set this up? Let's do it like rares, legendaries, and if I get any notable foils, I'll put them there. Oh, Fencing Ace is an uncommon. It's a weird uncommon. Alright, pack number two. Am I getting anything crazy? Oh, there's there's some interesting ones. The cool Encore uh, Elves. Armillary Sphere. Spectral Searchlight's also a good card. Faith's Fetters. Volcanic Torrent. Demonic Lore. This is one I haven't seen before. Draw three cards. Huh. That would be an interesting one to play in a donate deck. And ooh, War Room. That's a cool one. I like War Room. Not getting a lot of hype, but I like I do like the card. We got Prava, Steel Legion. And Armix, Filigree Thrasher. And a hey, foil viscerous here. That ain't terrible. And Salamander Warrior. That uh the Salamander human guy makes. Alright, I know for a fact the camera is sliding down, so let me. See if I can fix that. Why do you keep doing that? Ugh. All right, I think the next time I do this, I'm gonna have to have a better setup, but it is what it is. I'll deal with it later. These uh, packs are really Really crunchy. Don't give them to your cats. They will choke. Jalum Tome. That's a weird reprint. Ooh, Command Tower. There's our first Command Tower. Good old Command Tower. Right. Burnish Heart. Kambaji Witches with the new Seb McKinnon art. Uh, I shouldn't say new. This is the uh, MT. I think it's the Moto art for it, but a uh, new print. Dreamstone Hedron. Good old Dreamstone Hedron. Oh, okay, there's a good one. Opposition Agent. Uh, where's the? Where's my perfect fits? Oh boy, opposition agent. What a controversial card. Hold on, I gotta get my perfect fits. Lower the music a little bit. There we go. Alright, there's opposition agent. Probably one of the most hated cards ever printed. I think there was more... There was, like, more voices to ban this than there was to vo to ban, um, uh, Jeweled Lotus. Alright, then we got Keleth. And yes, Obeka. I really, really wanted that one. And a, ooh, cool, Foil Armor Larry Sphere. So I have... I cannot... Expect, she looks exactly like Undyne from Undertale. And you know I'm gonna paint Undyne on her, so don't even ask. That's a stupid question. But she, she straight up looks like Undyne. Even down to the red hair. I mean, come on. These have been very good packs so far. I know Opposition Agent is going for a somewhat good amount of money. I think it's like in the 20s. It's around the same price as Hull Breacher. Which I have, by the way. Alright, so that's like our fourth Dragon Mantle. And our third Jalen Tome, probably. Where's my Finhorn Elves? Give me Finhorn Elves. Me Greeny. Me want Finhorn Elves. Uh, null cal null collar feast of succession another just absolutely amazing seb mckinnon art arcane signet very cool card what made the brawl deck so expensive was arcane signet Ooh, nice there's the i call them battle lands the uh simic battle land rejuvenating springs and we got dargo shipwrecker uh siani eye of the storm and foil ancient animus oh we got prismatic piper there you go there's a there's a prismatic piper 
Uh, I should put that in the perfect fit too, probably. All right. No mythics yet. Some decent legendaries though. Alrighty. Crunchy pack. Oh, the Viscerous here. This is actually not a terrible card either. Wild size. Path of Ancestry. Another really good reprint. Alright, gonna make a stand. Pen and Blade. Victimize. Another also, another really good reprint. And, ooh, Sweet, gu sweet Gum Recluse. Terrifying spider. Um, but a crazy good card. Uh, so far, pretty good. Um, got Opposition Agent, a.k.a. the most hated card ever printed. Halana and Togo. I really would have been happy if we got uh, her sister. And our foil is Lifecrafter's Gift. All right, Sweet Gum's not a bad card. You know, I'm going to put Arcane Signet here because I'm pretty sure Arcane Signet's going to go. It's going to keep its value somewhat. It's just, it's just such a good card. I can't see that card going down to, like, less than $3. Togo? Togo's pretty easy to get. Filigree Familiar. Got downshifted to common. Which makes makes me sad. Oh, there we go. Annoyed Allosaur. And all these cards, these big-ass cards with Cascade is just great. I'm, I really hope I pulled up the quad Cascade card. That'd be really funny. I think I got another um, Prismatic, Prismatic Piper. Lightning Rig Crew. Lore Seeker Stone. Scaled Behemoth. Ooh, Soul of Eternity. Well, what the hell is this? Power Tough sequel let your life total. And Encore. God, that's freaking good. Um, hold on. I gotta disorganize real quick. That is actually really good. I like that. Uh, cool. We got Tuya Bear Claw. And hey, here we go. Verla. I'm getting all the ones I wanted. I need the turtle now. Now, if I get the turtle, I pretty much got all the rare ones that I wanted. Uh, and then Foil Warden of Evo Sile. Yep, yep, Prismatic Piper. Called that one. Nice. Old Mana Burn. Very nice. I'm going to put the rare ones here. Because they're cool. And the camera's moving back again. Alright. Alright, last two packs for that stack. Quest form. I like that card a lot. Ambush Viper. Ah, there's our first uh, diamond. Another command tower. Maelstrom Colossus. Love that card. All right, Angelic Armaments. Coastline Marauders. Monstrous Onslaught. And Horizon Stone. The um, Crufix. Crufix's Stone. Which everyone is going to call it from now on because that's essentially what it is. And we got Malcolm. Good old Malcolm. And Nadir. Whom I already have. Any foil? Welding Sparks. That's cool. I've seen a lot of people who like these foils. Um, I'm not a huge foil fan myself, but so far they seem to be a little bit more stable. They're not curling as quickly. Yet. So, you know, don't, don't hold me to that. Uh, I'm going to put Horizon Stone in a sleeve just because I feel like that card might be might be a good, a good pull. Okay. I'm so tempted to just start counting. Preordain. Good reprint. Oh, there's our second diamond and a commander sphere. All right. Got Thirst for Knowledge. Slaughter the Strong. Guildless Commons. Really cool. I wanted one of those. Oh, boy. Crunchy Onion. Oh, shit. Okay, right in a sleeve. Right in a friggin' sleeve. There's a Jewel Lotus. Careful with the Lotus. Careful with the Lotus. Look at it. Oh, look at that blooming onion. That's a delicious blooming onion. Yeah, so this card's fucking busted. Uh, this card is absolutely insane. Um, wow. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> oh, I'm dying here. All right, and we got uh, Thalisa, Revenant Medium. And we got Arch in the same... Oh, and I got a foil bio waste blob. That's cool. I'm not a huge fan of that card, but it's fine. But I got Turtle Man. I got Archelos. I got the uh, Amulet of Vigor. Oh, I missed some comments. Uh, did you see the LR tweet where they left one of the foil etched cards on the table for a week and it stayed flat as a plank? So that means they fixed foils. Cool. 
I'm really happy about that because I hate foils because they turn into Pringles. It's kind of the reason I stay away from secret layers. But uh, yeah, in the pack, I got Jewel Lotus and Archelos. That was a blessed pack. Whoever blessed that pack, thank you. I will give you Jeweled Lotus. I'm kidding. I will not. Don't you absolutely not. Shut up. All right, time for the middle stack. So maybe I'll pull a foil Jeweled Lotus. That'd be really cool. Or reshape the earth. If I pull reshape the earth and mana drain, it, it, I'm, I'm going to scream. It's, I'm just going to scream. I'm going to wake up all my neighbors. Oh, and Finhorn Elves. There's our first Finhorn Elves. It is a fantastic box so far. Another Emerald. Missing two. Sisei's Ring. A super underrated card. I'm so happy they reprinted this because I've been using Sisei's Ring for a very long time and everyone forget it, forgets it exists. Really good card. First Val. Val of Flight. I think one of the more popular Vows. Hey, there's a Thought Vessel. That's nice. I'm going to put that here. That's a good card. Imperius Perfect. Wow, this is a great set of uncommons so far. And another War Room. Okay, we're getting duplicates. Can I get a duplicate Jeweled Lotus? That'd, that'd be cool. That'd be real cool of you. And we got Brenlin. I'm going to put Jewel Lotus up here. Right, right, right in the center. Right in the center. Brenlin. Another Obeka. Wow. There's two. And a foil Liz Zalin Bowmaster. Wow. Two of these guys. Two of these. I should say two of these girls. Very nice. Oh, that means I got one extra to alter. All right. I'm just going to skip this. Uh, this is my least favorite. Just that radio song. There we go. Jet Set Radio has a really good soundtrack, but every now and then you get a just an annoying scream song. Alrighty. Nothing crazy. Really good card, though. Return of Dust. Fan of that card. There's our second Valve, Valve Torment. Pride of the Perfect, and a second Horizons. Holy crap, I'm getting doubles. Second Horizon Stone, that's awesome. Faltheese. And Alufra, and a foil Howling Golem. He scream. He scream. Wow, really good doubles. I'm it, I'm not kidding. If I get a second Jewel Lotus, I will scream. I shouldn't promise that. Okay. I am so sorry for the awful camera. It keeps moving. Can you tell I'm not a professional? Oh, this is the other fire. I think we're missing the blue one. All right. Pretty sure I got another uh, prismatic piper here. Hold on one sec. Okay. Furnace Celebration, Grafted War Gear, which just got printed, so it's weird. Stinger Flinger Spider, and the, the doubles in this set is, is nuts. What's with the doubles? Stop it. And we got Sonic the Hedgehog. And breaches. I like breaches. Breaches is fun. And a foil Valakut Invoker. And yep, another Prismatic Piper. Okay, I, I appreciate the doubles, but I would like different cards. That would be that would be nice. Flood of Recollection. I like the card. Ivy Lane Denizen. I remember when that card came out and I had Marath. I was like, okay, that goes right in Marath. Uh, another Command Tower. I got Warden of Evil Sile. First response. Demonic lore again, and uh, the hell, Th yo, this is a weird box. I think I actually got like a a, a screwed up box or something. Cause look at all, look at the doubles, and now Soul of Eternity is the same exact doubles. This is this is weird. Your double Lotus would be great, but I would like other cards. <laughs> all right, Anara, and hey Zara, she's cool, and <laughs> right next to it a foil etched Zara. There you go. There's our, well, at least, is, is it a rare? Yeah, it is a rare. So at least we've got an, a rare etched. It's kind of cool. I, I do like the red blue on that. That is very nice. Not a crazy fan of this card, but it's it's decent enough. Yo, but for real, what is with the doubles here? I'm going to take a wild guess and say this is a double. This is going to be a Plague Reaver or another Opposition Agent. Or, or another Lotus. Shit, who knows? I might have gotten lucky, and I'm just being ingrate, ungrateful. All right. Uh, Angelic Armaments, Brass Herald, really good reprint. I love this card for tribal decks. Volcanic Torrent, and oh, okay, there we go. So we broke the double streak. Uh, Root Weaver Druid. I think something to lands. 
Uh, each opponent may search the loader for three. Yeah, they search for lands, and you can search for lands too. Hey, Amarath, cool. Amon Amarath. Who here knows that band? And we got, hey, Belb too. And, and a foil Brenlin, non etched. That's neat. And the triple, uh, that was a triple rare pack. I can't be mad about that. Can't get mad at triple rares. I also can't get mad at a Jeweled Lotus. So your boy gonna shut up now. Uh, another command tower, command tower, command sphere. All right, volcanic dragon, siren storm tamer, reclamation sage. Hey, wheel of misfortune. I love this card. I love the way that they printed this card. It is just, it is very, very flavorful. And uh, JP Target. Good job on the art. Very nice. We got Glacian, power stone engineer. Hey, there is Kadama, Kadama the East Tree. A um, lot of hype on this guy. A lot of terrifying, terrifying hype on that guy. Whole people are pissing themselves over that card. I think people are more scared of that card than they are of Opposition Agent. As far as Commander goes. Okay. We got the White Vow. Vow of Duty. <laughs> duty. Mask of Memory. Guilt Leaf Winnower. And Amphin Mutineer. That's cool. I am considering uh, Grixis uh, Pirates, so that is a card I would need for that deck. So, that's cool. And it's a Salamander. So, you know, it does things with the Salamander guy. Uh, my rares are just a mess right now. I'd ignore that. Radiant Sarah Archangel. Archangel? Arch, Arch, Archangel. And Captain Vargas Wrath. And, oh, look at that. Foil Command Sphere. The first printing of a Foil Command Sphere. That is nice. That You know what? That, get, that gets a perfect fit. That gets its sleeve. That gets to sit right next to Jewel Lotus, because that is one of my favorite artifacts ever printed. That is nice. All right, last pack for the middle. Foil Pokeball. Hey, preordained right on top. Hey, I think we got all the diamonds. No, we're missing the blue diamond. Uh, Ingenuity Engine, a really awesome card. Um, the, the artist behind this card put as many Easter egg artifacts as he could in there. This is really cool. I, I, really, I wish I had a mat of this card. I really hope he puts mats uh, out of that art. It's so cool. Explosion of Riches, Hero's Blade, another personal fave. And Triumph Reckoning. There's our second mythic. Our, our, it's only our second mythic, which is insane to me. Uh, I like this card a lot. I would have preferred the green uh, nine mana sorcery, but this one's cool too. Return all artifacts, enchantments, and planeswalkers from your grave to the battlefield. Definitely can have some fun shenanigans with that. Uh, Dargo and Siani and a foil Iona's Judgment, which is not a great card, but not terrible. I'm sure that's that's the card that, that was printed specifically for like sealed. All right, last, last stack of packs. Sorry if I'm cracking this fast. I gotta go somewhere soon and my back is killing me. All right. We need some more mythics. Yep. All right. Pretty sure I got another uh, prismatic piper in this one. Daring Saboteur, Ordeal Analia, Slaughter of the Strong, and. Ooh, Court of Bounty. Uh, I am a fan of all the courts in this set. I think they're really good. Just being able to get the Monarch as soon as you play it is, is just a good, a good effect. Got another Elf Ball. Then we got, ooh, there he is. I forgot about this card. Uh, Gnostro, Voice of Crags. Three, the uh, the old owl horse wolf. Horalf. I'm trying, damn it. And prying eyes. And then, yep, Prismatic Pipey. I'm calling him that from now on, by the way. Prismatic Pipey. Make sure, make sure that spreads. Throw that over there. I did not get a Prismatic Piper. Now I'm counting for Pipers. I'm not counting for Foils anymore. Fate's Fetters, Pin and Blade, Victimize, and Slash the Ranks. A decent Wrath. Uh, blows up everything except... Uh, blows up all creatures except uh, Commanders and Planeswalkers. No, it blows up Planeswalkers that aren't Commanders. Uh, not a bad card. Not a great card, but not a bad card. Brava, and Armix, and a Foil... Ooh, Foil Dreamstone he drawn. Dreamstone he drawn. Is this also the first Foil printing of this? I, I don't remember if this is Commander card. No, this is no, this is from um, Battle for Zendikar. Still cool though. Still a good card. Okay. 
mean, so far, let's be honest, the best card is the crunchy onion. I just want to go back to a card real quick. When you first look at this, it looks like Rick from Rick and Morty, because I think that's his hair. <laughs> Every time I look at it, I just immediately think Rick. All right, Valve Lightning, Armorcraft Judge, Guildless Commons, and this is a new card to me. Sets Will. Choose one. If you control a commander, you choose both. Each opponent sacrifices a creature that control grace power. Exile cards from opponent's grave, then create an X. Then create X O ones black thrall creature tokens where X is the greatest power. Uh, not terrible. That is some kinky BDSM though. So I'm gonna go ahead and just hide that because I don't want to get demonetized. Uh, we got another Malcolm and a Nadir and a foil. Eh, foil haunted cloak. Getting a lot of foil artifacts. Like a lot of really good foil artifacts. Yes, you cannot unsee Rick. I only got two Mythics. I know one is a Jeweled Lotus, but I'm greedy. I want more Mythics. Well, at least three. Come on. Maybe five. Oh, there's there's a weird a weird throwback to Mirrodin, the Sliths. Yeah, that's, that's a, such a strange creature type. All right. Thirst for Knowledge, Fencing Ace, Dreamstone Hedron, and... Okay, I'll take a Hull Breacher. That's like 20 bucks. I will, I will take that all day. Hold on. If I get demonetized on MCG channels, Man Train. It's, yes, it's called Man Train. It's also called Sad. Um, just, it's sad because YouTube is sad. Talisa. And hey, we got Bell Borka. Another card I forgot existed. Because Boros cards tend to bore me. Just not a fan of them. And Doom Traveler. And yes, a Prismatic Pipey. I'm just not a fan of red. I like some red cards, but there's just so many I don't care about. Come on, I need more mythics. This is this is sad. This is a weird box. So many doubles and not enough mythics. I'm gonna complain to wizards. I want I want more mythics. Null collar, feast of succession, other arcane signet, a hey, training center. All right, that's not bad. Uh, that's my that's that's my second one I have of that one of the uh, battle bond lands. Oh, I'm just trying to organize a little bit here. There. We got Halana. Oh, we got both of them. I think. I think we got both of them. Hold on. Somewhere here. No, we didn't. We, we got another Halana. Halana without her sister. Another Togo, though. And a Foil Eye Blight Assassin, which I'm pretty sure I pulled a Foil Eye Blight Assassin already. Which is weird. Really weird. Three packs left. Really skimping on the Mythics here. Uh, these boxes, I got this one at whatever retail would be, so it was like 130 bucks or something. They're not going for too much. They're, they're, I'm surprised. They're not going for too, too much. All right, Lightning Rig Crew. Supreme Will. Scaled Behemoth. Oh, shit. I thought that was another Jewel Lotus. Staff of Domination, though. I can't complain. That's that's a that's a pog pull right there. Actually, that's getting its own um, sleeve. Hold on. Such a great card. Really needed a reprint. So that was that was a smart reprint. We got Tuya Bear Claw. And Gen. I think I'm getting... I got, like, all the... Oh, oh, wow. Holy shit. Foil. Okay, there's a Mythic. <laughs> Hold on. Getting a sleeve. There we go. Hellkite Courser. Foil Mythic Rare. Uh, when it comes into play, you can put your command zone, uh, commander from the command zone into play, and then it goes back at the end step. Just a really cool card. Really, really cool card for those really expensive commanders that you can kind of like, just abuse. Yeah, really. I, I am getting lucky here. Um, all right, one more Mythic would be nice because the Foil Mythic doesn't really count towards the Mythics. So theoretically, these sh both should be Mythics. So if I get a Mana Drain... I, I want the prize for the best box ever. And then if I get a foil mana drain in the same pack, I want two prizes. Orza of Abacus, Confiscate, Kumbaji Witches, and... Okay, I did get Mythic. So Profane <laughs> profane Transfusion. There is a black nine myth nine cost Mythic. Um, two target players exchange life totals, and you create an XX where X is the difference. D definitely. Hey, we got her. We got her sister. There we go. Uh, definitely something that can get abused in black decks. A very, very black effect. And it's Slurg, all ingesting. He's cool. Oh, that's nice. Foils, <clears throat> Hunter's Insight. This is actually one of my favorite green instances ever printed. I really, really like this card. So I'm happy to have that. That's that's really nice. It's also the first one I got, I think. All right, guys, last pack. Um, Theoretically, this should be another Mythic. So 
Let's hope. We have a goblin loading a head into a cannon. Commander plate would be nice. Mana drain would also be nice. A third, a second lotus, and then a third foil lotus would also be nice. Okay. And I'm pretty sure that completes the vows. Pretty sure I got them all. Coastline Marauders. Frenzied Saddle Brute. And, oh, 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 okay. Not a mythic. So that means we got, I, we might have gotten skimped on a mythic, but that's okay. Undergrowth Stadium. Still a good card. Then we got Keleth, Sun Main Familiar, and Rayav, Master Smith, and uh, Rip Skill. Sure. <laughs> this card's awful. I don't know why they printed it, but okay. Okay. Um, I mean, I'm a little disappointed that we didn't get four jewel lotuses, but you know, I can't, I can't complain. Can I wear this on my wrist? Hold on, hold on. So I'm a little complained that my Gucci watch <laughs> didn't, didn't get, I didn't get two extra Gucci watches in my box, but it's, it's okay. Um, yeah, that was a crazy box. A uh, foil Hellkite Corsair, pretty sure I made my money back. Opposition agent is going for some amount of money. The battle lands are about five to eight each. Um, staff, a great reprint. Two Horizon Stones. The doubles in this box were just, just weird. Just super strange. I mean, I'm happy I have two Horizon Stones. I can de definitely use them. So I'm not terribly disappointed. And of course, the legendaries. Just so many really good legendaries. I think I got all the ones I wanted. Oh, I forgot I pulled that. With all, with all this value, I forgot I pulled the, the etched foil that I don't, will never ever play. And then two, uh, two undines. Yeah, guys, I'm really happy with that box. I hope you guys enjoyed. I definitely intend to get another box. Uh, actually, I will get another box. I'm waiting for Amazon to ship it. And then I'll probably open it out on stream too. Uh, I will tweet when I'm ready to do that. And I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, yeah, thanks for joining me. That was really fun. Bye.